Word, Module 8, Textbook Project, Part 1, Integrating with Other Programs and Collaborating. You have the reading on the left-hand side, your start file in the middle, and three support files on the right-hand side, two Excel and one PowerPoint. Make sure you open each one of them and save them where you save all of your, your documents for Word. Go ahead and click the start file. And the first thing we're going to do, this is one of five pages, is we're just going to um, check to see what kind of um, design they've chosen. So I'm going to click the design tab and go into themes. And they're using, you can tell by the gray box, they're using the basis. So I just wanted to check. Go ahead on the home tab and put your show hide on so that you can see where the paragraph symbols are so that you know when not to um, delete an entire line and lose a, a blank line. So the very first thing on page one is select Excel worksheet, but do not select the paragraph symbol. You don't want to lose the blank space. And then go ahead and press delete. Then we'll choose insert. And in the text group, there's a button called object. And then when the dialog box opens, you have two tabs, create new and create from file. So select create from file browse, go to where you just saved your documents, and we're going to open that first support document, 8-1. So we want the Excel 8-1 support file, so click that, insert, and then OK. And it's going to put it in the object in your Word document. When you double click this object, it's going to leave Word and go into Excel. So now we're in Excel. And I'm just going to hover down a little bit. In B3, the cell B3, we're going to change the value to 250. Just type right over it and press enter. Then select B3 and we, B8, and we want the total customers to be in bold. In the Excel ribbon, go ahead and select B for bold. The next thing we're going to do is change the design theme to match Word. So go ahead and choose Page Layout, Themes, and we're going to choose Basis. Then select Active Cell 8A1. And to leave Excel in the ribbon, click anywhere in the Word document. And it leaves Excel and goes back into Word. Click the object so that it's selected. You can tell by the squares around each corner. And on the Home tab, click Center. So it centers in, in the middle of the page. You can save. And the next thing we're going to do is Control Home. It takes us to the top of the document. And we're going to insert an object. So go ahead and click Insert. And back in the text group, choose Object. And this time we're going to use Create New and hover down you're looking for Microsoft PowerPoint slide and then click OK. Select where it says click to add title and you're going to type marketing report and then click for the subtitle and it's JCL talent comma incorporated and then enter your name. And we'll go to Design and More for Themes. And we're looking for the basis. And if you click anywhere below the slide, it'll leave PowerPoint and take you back to Word. Double click the slide. It'll take you back to PowerPoint. Click Design. And what we want to do so we want to change the variant, which is the colors, but for some reason it's not showing up. So if you, if you go back to more on um, for themes, even though it's still there for this presentation basis, re-click it and then you get the variants. And you'll click the one on the end, blue, and then click um, back in Word. So you just will leave PowerPoint and go back to Word. Click to the left of Overview and press Enter. Then right click on your slide 
and then choose picture and we're going to go to size and we want the height to be 2.5 and then click OK and again on the home tab we'll center this so it's in the middle of the, the page horizontally control N takes us to the end of the document and press backspace so calendar the word calendar goes away then click insert tables quick table calendar one we want to stretch it out to the full margin if you hover to your border your boundary line it changes to double arrows hold and drag to the width of the document but it doesn't stretch out the calendar click the um, button to select the entire table which is your move handle selects the whole table when you click table tools layout distribute columns will open it all up go after 5 for December 5th and press enter and type launch with an exclamation click anywhere outside the table control home that takes you back to the beginning of the of the um, document and scroll down a little bit onto page two where it says advertising pie chart and again select and do not select the paragraph return at the end and press delete and what we're going to do this time is open up Excel it's the 8-2 Excel spreadsheet but do it from the file folder so go on the taskbar to your file folder and then wherever you you're saving your documents and you'll open up Excel 8-2 and it's going to open it separately so we're working with two documents on the taskbar Word and Excel. Click anywhere in the white space of the pie chart and then click in the clipboard group copy. Then on your taskbar go back to Word to the document and right where your flashing cursor is you're going to paste but it's a special paste so click the down arrow for paste and you're selecting keep source formatting and link data. right now you're looking at the blue which is um, website and it's at six percent so go to your Excel spreadsheet on the taskbar and on in B2 we're at 7,000 for the website expenses you're gonna type 12,000 and press enter it immediately changes the six percent to ten percent now when we return to the Word document you'll notice that it also changed in Word because they were linked together. Click anywhere inside the pie chart so it's selected and click the chart format and we want to change the width of the pie chart to 6 and press enter. Click the home tab and again in the paragraph group choose center so it centers it slightly and then we'll click outside of the pie chart and you can go back to your Excel um, worksheet and go ahead and save and you can also save this and we're going to continue on we're going to link a PowerPoint slide so you're going to do the same thing we'll first go to scroll to page 3 and select where it says PowerPoint slide and delete but just don't take the paragraph symbol and do the same thing go to your your yellow folder file folder and you're going to open the PowerPoint support WD 8-3 and you can open it larger they also want you to save this as support underscore WD underscore 8 underscore website image then you'll go into what's called um, view and right now this is called normal view in PowerPoint they want you to go to slide sorter so it makes it a smaller slide and then you'll go home and click copy 
Then we'll go back to the taskbar and select the Word document, and we should be flashing where we just left, and you're going to choose So you're going to click the Paste button and choose Special Paste. Make sure you choose Microsoft PowerPoint Slide Object. Click Paste Link and it tells you that it's going to paste the link which is a shortcut has been created and then click OK. Then we'll go back to the PowerPoint Slide on, your, on the um, taskbar. Go back to View and select Normal. And then if you click the edge of the purple box, which is the text box, it selects it completely. And then press Delete to get rid of it. Go back to your Word document on the taskbar and notice it's still there. What you'll do at this point is right click on the slide and choose Update Link. And it matches the PowerPoint because they're linked together. Right click the slide and choose linked to, si to slide object and choose edit link. Select the, t the text proposed website image and then you will select drawing tools format and we'll go into the text fill button, text fill. And we want red accent one. And then we'll click away from the um, heading. And then we'll save and exit. This is in PowerPoint. And then we'll have to again right click on the slide and choose update link. And it updated it to match what we did in PowerPoint. Down in the footer where it says your name, if you double click in the footer, it'll it'll um, activate the footer and then where it has your name type yours and to go back out into the document you can either just double click in the document or close the header and footer and this one we're going to save save where you save all of your documents And this one will be named slightly different. So it's eight underscore marketing report underscore managers. Choose file. When you click File, cho choose Info, and then scroll down a little bit, and you'll see Edit link, Links to Files. And the very first one that shows up, and what you're doing with, this is the slide because it says what type it is, we're breaking the link between them so that if we make changes in the PowerPoint it will not uh, change the Word document. So you're breaking the link. Are you sure? Yes. And then now the chart which is the Excel, you're also going to break, break the link. Yes. And then click OK. And then go back to your document and go to where your pie chart is and then you'll select the pie chart and in design chart design under the style group choose more and we want style 11 and then save